Now, this is like the most common question people ask because they're like, well, because you know, in, in Vedic, I'm I'm a Libra rising and I'm a Scorpio sun, and then in Western, I'm a, I'm a Scorpio rising with a Sagittarius sun. So, how do I know what transit is uh, working for me? And my answer to you is synchronicity, observation. Okay, I can't do that for you. You have to do it yourself. I see a lot of people that say, well, Western astrology is not for me. However, Vedic is for me. And that's great. I cannot argue with that person because they are synchronized to that chart. I can't argue. People can't argue with me when I say that I'm synchronized to Western astrology. Okay. I'm so synchronized that I know um, I could feel the effects of Mars. Okay. Every time, every 40 days that he transits a house, I feel him very strong. And I feel it, and I feel the drive in that certain area of life. So nobody can come and tell me that it's one house behind, because I, I, I would just totally disagree. However, that person might feel it, you know, in Vedic. And this is another thing about astrology. Astrology, astrology is all about um, synchronizing individually. Okay. And I've, I've noticed this. It's not something that I read. It's something that I've been observing, because there's many different ways of reading a chart. You got. You even have the draconian chart, and the draconian chart. I'm actually a Leo riser. There are many ways to read a chart. Many ways. I usually stick to the Western um, astrology way of reading it because that is the most synchronized version of me. Okay. But if you want to do self exploration, you might want to um, explore every chart. Okay. Because you do learn a little bit about yourself. You do learn a little bit about yourself in every single chart that you read in every single way. When you play around with your chart, you get to um, explore the 12 aspects of yourself. This is, this is what astrology is. So astrology is not only about transits, it's not only about... Um, astrology is about um, knowing thyself. Okay? Learning how to incorporate the 12 wisdoms of, of, of the universe into yourself. Infusing all 12 to make you a 13. And speaking of 13, a lot of you saying, oh, uh, is a fucus, you know, so isn't there like 13 moon cycles? Doesn't that make it like 13 signs? Yes, it does. There isn't a fucus. There's a constellation called a fucus, but there's also an Orion, okay? And what did Tahuti, what did Thoth say in the seven principles of, 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 in the seven universal principles? The law of duality. If there's something, there must be the opposite. So what is the opposite of a fucus? Orion. So then there's 14 signs, huh? This is where I'm trying to get at. There's many ways of reading a chart, okay? And sometimes when you read one chart, you have to forget about the other method of reading the other chart. You have to, in order to comprehend this chart, okay? And uh, when I'm using the 13 sign system, I'm in a fucus. So I have to um, forget what Sagittarius was, who I was Sagittarius. How could I incorporate myself as an fucus? What qualities of fucus do I have? Okay? That's how you have to see it, and that's how you have to, that's the attitude you have to have towards astrology. You cannot have this um, narrow minded, shut down attitude because you're not going to be able to understand, and the occult is not for you. Okay? If you cannot think out of the box, okay, and become something different other than what you were being told that you were, then you are not an alchemist. You're not, you can't be able to, to shapeshift. You can't adapt. And that's what life is. Life is not about um, following a certain path. Life is about adapting because sometimes in that path, you're going to have a lot of obstacles and you're going to have to learn how to go around them. Okay? So you have to learn how to um, adapt to certain things. Okay? And um, this is what I wanted to say. Astrology is all about synchronicity, okay, and self-observation, self-knowledge, you know, and inner exploration. So, I mean, if you're going to approach astrology in a very narrow-minded view, in textbook accordingly, school, you know, teacher, indoctrination kind of attitude, then you're going to be very disappointed. So I hope this video was interesting, and I'm going to stay.